Hi, good morning. It's uh, Sunday, uh, July 16th, and um, I just actually wanted to show you something here about uh, genetically modified cultures. Um, here we have actually what this is, is an aloe vera, and uh, this was something that I actually had in my home. Now, aloe vera is actually a very good medicinal plant for um, for different types of things. You can actually ingest um, aloe vera, but I uh, definitely don't want to ingest aloe vera that's been domesticated. Now this aloe vera plant is very nice, it's very beautiful. I've had it for many years. Um, I think I've had it since 2002 I think, or 2001. And it was actually, a piece of it was given to me by somebody. But this plant keeps on reproducing. And uh, it reproduces in um, very beautiful ways. But I began to look at this plant and then I said to myself, is this actually something that's genetically modified? Because, so what I did, was I actually put it out in the sun. Now, when you put um, an aloe vera plant out in the sun, it actually shouldn't turn this color. It actually should turn green. And um, it should actually start like, bubbling, not bubbling, but getting bigger. And uh, this plant hasn't even gotten green. It's actually turning red. So what that tells me is that there's something very strange about the composition of this plant. See, it's green on one side, and it's red on the other side. And the thing is that aloe vera actually needs the sun to sustain itself. So this thing here is actually afraid of the sun. So I don't know what exactly this is, and I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, keep this. I might have to just destroy uh, this plant because it has a defective genetic. When you get into um, discussions around uh, genetics, you have to look at things that you even have in your home because actually um, I would use that aloe vera and I would put it on my skin uh, for different things. But I didn't really have to use it that often, but uh, it's actually scared of the sun. So why would an aloe vera that comes from the sun be scared of the sun and actually develop that resistance? See, this is one of the things um, wrong with um, genetically modified things, is that the same way that you see that aloe vera afraid of the sun is the same way that, for example, you should be um, very, very mindful of the foods that you eat. For example, going into my dorm fridge, uh, actually my place is not on campus, it's actually off campus, but uh, it's still my dorm, I have to... Um, sort of restructure it like that um, because this is actually a place where I have to uh, develop um, my intellectual discourse. This is something called a Granny Smith apple. It looks like one. It's got like the freckles and stuff or the spots, but uh, you don't even know if it's actually a, a true um, um, Granny Smith. So what you do is you take stuff like this, right? <coughs> You go to an organic store, but again, you have to be caution around, cautious around what is organic. And uh, what you do is you test it for yourself. For me, there's a difference between pesticide-free food and nutrition and uh, shit nutrition. When you eat shit nutrition, so like uh, all this packaged good stuff, like I'll show you. I'm trying something for a month, and... Um, Just a little short documentary. Here. Because of um, my student budget, first of all, people should be um, well equipped to not have to suffer in uh, Canada. The global, uh, the civilized global economic north is how it projects itself out there to the world. But you have something like this this brand name. It's uh, Mott's Fruit, Sensa Fruit Cessations uh, Unsweetened Blueberry Delight Apple and Blueberry Fruit Blend made from apple water concentrated apple puree. So why does apple puree have to be concentrated with what? Vegetable juice for color, which is a carrot. Okay, so why do I need this color? Blueberry puree Okay, natural flavor. Why would I want natural flavor? Why wouldn't I want just the natural stuff? 
uh, absorbic acid or ascorbic acid. Um, why do I want acid in my food? So when you actually eat stuff like this, and this is not the only thing, anything that's, um, for example, um, in these like big box stores, like I live in a demographic that's, uh, there's a lot of poverty, there's a lot of murders, and uh, when people write their research, this is the shit that they should actually be showing, and not showing, oh, how they write really nice on a piece of paper, but uh, can they actually take their ass into these communities and actually find out? It's not that you're working undercover, but it's like you're, you're just being curious and you're documenting your curiosity. And then you actually get into these discussions to say, wait a minute. Like, for example, I'm right across from a business that's worth billions of dollars. And um, this business brings in so much pollution, it's not even funny. Light pollution, traffic pollution, murder pollution, um, dissolution of the um, the uh, domestic economy it's incredibly problematic and constant like every 10 minutes you have like these big trucks uh, driving up um, uh, doing their reloading and it's just this constant parasitic activity and I'm like wow look at this Walmart it's pretty fucking disgusting so what you do people is you do testing on yourself don't go to these uh, biomedical physicians, and we'll get into that. Like, for example, when I go and see a physician, a physician should be able to cite, uh, where are some of my medical texts? Okay, um, okay, some of my medical texts. I've got to reorganize some of my uh, books here. They should actually be able to, um, here, here's one. It's actually by um, a physician. Um, his name is Dr. Leila Africa. He's another type of physician. But he's actually a physician that hasn't been um, qualified according to Caucasian bigoted standards. But he's actually a person who can help us uh, with our nutrition and if you have like, um, you know, concerns around aging and, you know, making yourself more um, healthy read stuff like this. It actually focuses on nutritional destruction of the black race. Now, some of the ideas in here um, I don't agree with because, um, for example, it talks about um, sexual behaviors and mating and stuff. And um, But I also agree with a lot of, of what is said in there because it actually goes into why you should actually be feeding your melanin and not feeding what the Caucasians are telling you to eat so that they can make money. So, um, this video is just to, again, explore the problem with genetically modified foods. Um, make sure that you always, always examine what the heck you're eating. And if you see things that are actually cheap, do not go for that. Find an organic store in your neighborhood. If there isn't one, create one and argue for one. And let us know how things are going. Because if you like that stuff, bring it into the urban. Um, food is actually your medicine, not synthetics. So sh let us know what your thoughts are. And I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Because uh, with myself as well, I actually um, interact with a lot of different networks and groups about different things. And um, genetically modified foods leads to some, the genetically modification culture leads to um, stuff like the aloe vera plant. It looks very nice, but why is the aloe vera scared of the sun? When you eat stuff that doesn't fit your genetics, you actually develop resistances. Someone had sent a message to say that they're, um, they're uh, getting burnt by the sun and uh, they're putting on sunblock and this person is melanin rich. Well, first of all, I said, what, what are you eating? They said what they were eating. I said, you know what, you need to cut that shit out of your diet you need to actually eat whole foods, what they call whole foods. I call pesticides chemical free foods. Straight from the soil, straight from the sun, you need to be eating that stuff. And um, after some time, they had no problems. Don't even have to wear sunblock. Because you know what, we shouldn't be afraid of the sun. See, disease is an economy, and you know what, that's a completely different video, another video, I'll come up with something, a piece about that, but uh, genetically modified stuff, um, what do you know about it? 
and uh, please share your thoughts. Thank you.